the bees. How are you? <clears throat> I'm better. <laughs> um, I found out that I think it's allergies. I think it's allergies because after I got off my last video, I told George my thoughts and he promptly put an antihistamine in me, in my body. <laughs> he says, eat this. I'm like, okay. And I slept all night. I slept for almost 12 hours and I woke up today and ta-da, I am so much better. So, <clears throat> whew, relief. Um, so yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so I think we've got a lot of cottonwood flying around today. Uh, I was out um, doing my job, skipping and skip, and skip the dishes. And there, it was everywhere. It was flying all over the place. It was flying in my car. It was, I was like, oh no. So <clears throat> we'll see if it comes back. If it does, I'm going to take another antihistamine again. And I'm going to try and get the non-drowsy stuff, though, I think, because <laughs> that just rocked me, like, big time. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so I'm so happy. I sounded horrible, didn't I? Holy cow. <clears throat> and then just, boom, it was like, it, it, it took all the swelling down, and I could talk again. I thought, I've been suffering with this for over a month, and that's all it took. I, you know, I really thought I was a smart cookie. <laughs> anyway, so thank you for all your kind words and your concerns and your love. Uh, I really appreciated it. <clears throat> um, I have a question for you guys. Okay. I know that down in the States, the Hobby Lobby is having their massive sale right now. Okay. Unfortunately, I'm in Canada. We can't get we can't do, get a hold of all that. So it's sad. It made me really sad. But I was thinking about the people that are down in the States and in Canada that can't, either can't afford to get the, the Hobby Lobby clearance stuff or they've sold out of it and they can't find any. And, you know, or they just, they're not in an area where they can get to a Hobby Lobby. So I started thinking about that and that depressed me even more. <laughs> so I was thinking for those of you that have been with me for a few years, um, do you remember way back when I did the uh, Yarnapalooza, was it Yarnapalooza? I think we did where we had like 10 boxes of yarn and we did a raffle. <laughs> Don't say that word too loud. <laughs> we had a raffle. And I raffled off the 10 boxes of yarn. Do you guys remember that? If you don't, I will see if I can find the video. And if I can, I will link it above and you can check it out. It was so much fun. It was a hoot. I loved doing it. It was just great. So I'm thinking about doing something like that again. And I'm wondering what you guys think. What are your thoughts on it? Do you want to do another raffle? Because everybody had such a great time. And I mean, it was only $5 a ticket. But this time, I think what we're going to do is we're going to do $5 a ticket or five tickets for $20. So you get an extra ticket um, for free. Okay, this is my thought. You know, just thinking of stuff. And I'm going to go through my stash and I'm going to start packing up boxes. Now I'm thinking to start, I'm only going to do maybe five boxes. Okay. Uh, just keep it small for now. And if it's a big success, then we'll add on and do some more later. Uh, so I want to, I want to know what your guys' thoughts are because, you know, I know that the Hobby Lobby thing makes everybody crazy. Uh, but I, I started thinking about those people that, you know, can't afford to go to Hobby Lobby for the sales, can't go, you know, aren't physically able to go to a Hobby Lobby or a store, a yarn store. Um, and I wanted to try and do something for them. Now, the last time we did this, 
there was one person and if you go oh well it's only you know one ticket for five dollars that's all i can afford you know what there was someone that won last time we did this that only had one ticket and she won the box of yarn and let me show you the box of yarn the boxes that i used okay this was the size of the box that I did last time okay now I can't get another I can't get another 15 by 15 by 10 box uh, I've, I've looked at our uh, staples and stuff they don't have them but I looked online and I can get something that's very close to that size so that's a lot of yarn for five bucks right even for 20 bucks for you know five tickets that's a lot of yarn. Okay. So I want to know your thoughts. Should we do it? I think we should do it because I think it would be just, I, two of those boxes, I mean, last time I did it worldwide and two of those boxes went to one person in Australia. You know who you are. <laughs> that was crazy. But again, she was the type of person who couldn't go out, couldn't leave her house very, very often. In Australia, they don't have very many places for yarn. They can't get yarn in. It was a great opportunity for someone out there to get some yarn, right? This time I'm going to limit it to Canada and the U.S. Okay, um, Number one, I don't even know if Australia can get any yarn still because of the whole COVID thing that happened. So uh, I'm going to just keep it simple. And I'm so sorry, but I'm just going to do it for Canada and the U.S. But I want to hear what your guys' thoughts were. I, it was so much fun. I I mean, George and I, we were outside. It was blowing. We, we had bubbles going in George's mouth. It was nuts. <laughs> But it was a blast. Okay. Uh, so go watch that video and see how much fun it was. And uh, tell me what your thoughts are because I would love to do it again and just wipe out my stash. <laughs> just like send it out to you guys. I think it would be great. Okay. So I'm, I'm going to patiently wait to hear from you guys and uh, tell me what your thoughts are. Okay, I love you all. I'll talk to you later. Bye.